And its grand history continues. The sun trying to burn through a morning and midday fog here in Pasadena, California. The UCLA Bruins, the champions of the Pacific 10, two plays shy of an unbeaten year themselves against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Their perfect season ruined on one rainy day in Columbus. So the Bruins are first on the field. And Terry Donahue, their 41-year-old coach, 1985 was a good year for him. He became the winningest coach in UCLA football history. And back in the Rose Bowl. He has been here as a player, an assistant coach, and a head coach. And now the Hawkeyes of Hayden Fry are ready to take the field. And here comes Hayden Look out. Fry. Here they come. Six years of age. We told you Donahue is the winningest coach in UCLA history. At this moment, Hayden Fry is tied as the Hawkeyes' all-time winning coach with the great Forrest Evashevsky, who took two, two Iowa teams to Rose Bowl wins. And it was Matt Stevens off the bench in relief of David Noy, who won it for UCLA. We're underway for the 72nd time. Bringing it out is Henry. the 29-yard line. A 33-yard return. Here's the offense for the UCLA Bruins. David Noy, number nine, will not start. Matt Stevens, a junior, will. He's a quarterback. We threw only 41 passes this year. Gaston Green, the leading rusher, and a good one. And Melfar Jr. are the running backs. The wide receivers, they're fleet, and they're all capable of getting the long ball. Mike Sherrard, the all-time record holder. Carl Durrell caught two touchdowns the last Rose Bowl, and Derek Tonell is the tight end. Stevens to throw in his first play. Has a man open. It's far. And that's a name an All-American man. Here are the men in front of Matt Stevens. Starting from right tackle, John Kinner, 265 pounds. Jim McCullough, his 33rd consecutive start, weighs 262. Goebel at 260 pounds at center. Mike Hartmeyer, all pack 10 at 265. And the left tackle is Robert Cox, a little guy, 258. He wanted him at Iowa, but Stevens said he did not want to leave Southern California. And he has the first down, wedging straight ahead. And this is a good defensive team in the top five in the nation. Bruce Gear at one end. They have a five-man front. John Vries and Iowanas are the three men in the middle of the line. Hap Peterson, an all-Big Ten nose guard. Jeff Drost is their best pass rusher. Nine sacks this year. Richard Pryor, no relation to the comedian, is at left end. In fact, he doesn't even talk. <laughs> First down from the 41. Play action in trouble, Stevens, but he's able to get away from Drost, but not. Able to elude John Breeze, the right tackle. The rest of the Iowa defense, there's an All-American number 36, Larry Station from Omaha, awesome. Nebraska. And George Davis, tough from Des Moines. We'll check the back four for Iowa in a moment. It is second down and 16. is able to pick up the miscue. The defensive backfield for the Hawkeyes. Let's meet them. Nate Greer at the right corner from Brooklyn, New York. Devon Mitchell from the same high school in Brooklyn. Tilden. Jay Norvell. He had seven interceptions to lead the Big Ten. And Ken Bubba Sims at the other corner. Third down and 22 yards. Make that uh, 23 yards to go. And nothing much on that third down effort. Bill Happel, number 40, is deep for the Hawkeyes. Along with Robert Smith, a bad snap. Chuck Long, the All-American quarterback, to Ronnie Hart. He fumbles, and UCLA has it. Oh, my. The ball is dead. The man was down as he caught it on the floor. First, first, Iowa at the UCLA 5, only to have Harmon fumble, and the Bruins have it back at the 7. They'll give us the Gaston Green out across the 10-yard line. I have a feeling we'll see David Norrie unless Stevens has an exceptional afternoon. Melfar Jr. That'll make Papa proud. He's here from Detroit. Marcus Greenwood in for Melfar, number 45 at fullback. Stevens play action. Sidelines almost intercepted by Nate Greer. 
second and ten from the UCLA 20. Green in motion. And they throw to Green. And he's able to manage a four-yard effort. Third and six. And the Hawkeyes ready to tee off on Stevens. Who throws to Sherrard. And a first down at the 38. Stevens did a good job. Good fake by Stevens, but it did not fool Iowa. And try and mix up the offensive blocking assignments. There you see him shifting right there. Mel Farr and Eric Ball in for the first time. Stevens intercepted by Clear. Durrell drags him down at the 33-yard line, and a flag is down. We've got a face mask on that play. And Durrell dragging him down. They call that a five-yard, grasping the mask, not twisting him down. Could have almost gone for the 15. Unusual throwing style, but we'll try and document for you during the day. Looked almost like a mix-up, and then Woo! Hudson is stacked up by uh, Quintet of white jersey in the NCAA major colleges and universities this year than UCLA. Play action to Harmon. Bruins were looking pass, and Harmon has a first down at the 18. Back against the grain. Beautiful job. And back to live action as it was Harmon again on the carry. For two rusher after really only being in that backfield for two years was a wing back two years. Hudson through the middle, and he is jolted. Third and one for Iowa at the UCLA eight-yard line. Big play. On the ground, it is a first down as a fullback. Hudson falling straight ahead. Well, if you establish the running game, that makes the passing game a lot easier. First and goal, Hudson twisting to the one-yard line. The H boys, Hudson and Harmon, have kept it on the ground, and now it's Hudson over the top. Touchdown. point after Velasic to hold and it's good after Nate Clear's interception 29 yards in seven plays UCLA Daryl Henley and Danny Thompson it's to Henley's side at the one and cut down on a sharp open field tackle still contact by the defense I guess and they get it here so now the tight end in motion green not much there at all second and four Durrell in motion and what they're trying to do is confuse the blocking assignments of the offense. Well, watch that defensive line. They'll do it throughout the course of the game. Third and four, Stevens to throw. He's got his man to now, the tight end, and a first down at the 36-yard line. I did at both levels, and I hated it until I saw how much trouble it caused for the offense. Gaston Green, small crack. The boys that filled in a hurry with that runner. It's second and eight. There it is again. Seven. Signals it. Fly ball play. Encroachment on the defense. There was no contact that time. So the first down makes, or the five-yard penalty makes it second and three. Marcus Greenwood pushed back by the Iowa defense. Hopes that did materialize of making it to the Rose Bowl. On third and short, it's Stevens. Complete to Marcus Greenwood. And a first down at the Iowa 40. Stevens on first down to throw. He guns that one complete at the 31. There you saw the strength of his arm. Less than four minutes remaining in the first quarter. The sneak by Stevens, and it appears he has the first down. And had an outstanding year. Good fake. by Stevens the entire Iowa team thought he was going to pass ball had the football and down the left sideline untouched to try to tie it and it is good Lee who 
has missed all these now and 131 attempts. Watch the faking again by Stevens. He really locked in the secondary. They were looking for a pass. Then the draw to ball. Boy, that's the way you draw it. Just one hand on him, and we have a new game tied at 7. 3.23 left in the first quarter. Eric Ball, James Primus, and now the kickoff. James Bray sends it to the goal line. Back comes Kevin Harmon, the younger brother of Ronnie Harmon. And now Chuck Long, we haven't seen him throw a pass as yet. Doesn't figure he'll disappoint us long. A little deception there. And outside goes Hudson for a first down. And a first down. And here's Long's first pass in the Rose Bowl. And he finds Bill Happel at the 43. And it appears to be another first down. That doesn't matter what the weather is. They played in rain and bad weather most of the year to Iowa. And these guys don't drop the ball. Just inside the 45-yard line. 7-7 seven, seven the score, 2.45 left in the first. Matt Stevens under pressure, incomplete. Second and 10. The give is to Gaston Green. Down to the 37 of the Hawkeyes. Split now instead of the eye behind Stevens. Looking for Durrell. He's open. It's a first down at the Hawkeye 25. UCLA with a first down at the 25. That's in John Lee's field goal range, but they're looking for more with two minutes left in the first quarter. Green hit hard. Jeff Drost. He Drost, Peterson, and Vries all from the Hawkeye State. Stevenson looking deep for Turnell, and it's too far. Going for six. It was Sherrard. He was open. The Lee on the year missed only three field goals. He is the all-time NCAA record holder. 79 field goals in his four-year career. This one is from 42 yards. And it is good. John Lee gives UCLA the lead. 10-7. He is cool. <laughs> he is cool. The kickoff, not by Lee, but by Bray. Down to Harmon at the five. He has some opening. 30 and tripped up at the 31-yard line. He with 106 left in the first quarter. And Long's going to open it up. Good protection. Good catch by Ronnie Hank. Chucky Miller, that is not a touchdown. You cannot run with a fumble in college ball unless it's caught in the air. It's UCLA and the turnover. And the Bruins have it at the Hawkeye 34. Far and green behind Stevens. It's Gaston Green. And like Ronnie Harmon, look at that defense move around. Give the grin, he shot the first down, George Davis. First period is history here in Pasadena in this 72nd Rose Bowl game. Turnover plague, first 15 minutes, UCLA by three. It is third and two, UCLA at the Hawkeye 27. They'll make that the 26-yard line. Green, big hole. First down at the 17 of Iowa. 33 yards now for Green. First down UCLA leading 10 to 7. Green up the middle, a huge hole. And he tripped up and falls at the nine yard line. Four straight carries by Gaston. And a second down and a long one. Green again. And a first down at the four. Stevens. And Iowa has it at the Hawkeye 19. It remains 10-7 UCLA. 13 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Quick hitter by Hudson. 
And they're using that play often. I think that's going to happen for Harmon today. Iowa has a speed receiver in, but the give is to Harmon, and he's stacked up at the 25. Third and four. Long. That quick release, and what a throw. 40, 42. Ken Norton Jr., the son of the former heavyweight champion on the coverage. That was good coverage. That's just perfect throwing. And there's another strike to Quinn Early, number one. Ball at the 49 of Iowa. We're at second and three. Give it to Harmon. Gets outside. Good move. And a first down at the UCLA 44. Screen. Harmon. 40. 35. And close to another first down. Well, he's going to go for the first down and gives to the fullback Hudson. He didn't need much. Mel Farr was his teammate. Bruins upset Michigan State, the number one team unbeaten that year. Long has to eat it back at the 47-yard line. I'd like to ask you about that. Doesn't it make it tough when you have to block down on the tackle? Second and 24. Long, look at the time. Finds his man, Robert Smith. At the 32-yard line. Third and nine, Harmon. Looked like a little shovel pass. And tripped up a blocking tackle by Joe Gasser. Rob Houtland to try a 43-yard field goal to tie. He's got the distance. No, he doesn't. It falls short in the end zone, but a flag is down. Roughing the kicker. Nine minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the first half. UCLA 10, Iowa 7. Long, under pressure to Hampo. First down and goal, just inside the 10. Scored in a better place. First and goal, they have the full 10 yards to go. Little misdirection to Hudson, the fullback, for about three. Second and goal from the seven. Long. Incomplete. Tyler Mike flag, and then the fans are seeing an outstanding game. And here a critical play on third and goal from the seven. Hudson on a draw, and that did not fool UCLA. This is Houtland's second attempt to get three out of it. Much shorter. This will be a 24-yard attempt. And we have a new game. It's tied at 10. Rob Houtland, Danny Thompson, Daryl Henley are deep for UCLA. Skids it down the middle, picked up by an up-back. And it's Mel Farr, Jr., out to the 30-yard line. Greenwood and Eric Ball. Gaston Green has now returned since uh, suffering a leg injury. It's too far. to the start of the play. Stevens, a flanker screen, well read as Willie Anderson is dumped for a loss by Nate Creer. Very <laughs> ball. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Third down, five. Oh, big hole for Ball. Total rushing, Lee, point after, down the middle, and UCLA leads 17 to 10. Eric Ball on the option, catching the Iowa defense by surprise, a 40-yard touchdown. Certainly the players themselves and coaches do. Bray's kick is a long one, and will not be run out by Harmon of Iowa. Oh, that's really getting a flying start, they're starting Back at the 25-yard line. Iowa now trailing 17-10 oh. Harmon. And he's caught for a loss at the 18. The man who made the tackle was Ken Norton Jr. Comparison today, the All-American long. He's 9 for 10, 93 yards. Stevens has uh, hit about 50% of his passes. Another completion for long. is to stay on the ground, surprisingly. But it works. Is he there for the first down? It depends on where they mark it. And strength dragging him forward for the first down at the 30. Four minutes, four seconds left in the half. Long. 
to scramble. And back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. From getting out of there. Brings up second and ten. Good protection. Now it breaks down. He has to dump it off to the tight end flag. And Mike Flagg gains four. Mass substitution. Six new defenders in on this third down six. Draw. So Iowa crosses him up. And that's Harmon again all the way to the UCLA 49. A dozen personations. Quite a character. 2.23 left in the half. Complete to Harmon. Fumbles. Is it in play? And who's got it? UCLA. trailing 17-10 coughs it up UCLA ball Ken Norton recovered at the Bruin 48 Stevens looking for more and going long open 81 less than two minutes remaining first half first down at the Iowa 14 Eric Ball to the five yard line this is second down and two at the Hawkeye six and now one of their homegrown starring here for UCLA. Pointer. Tom Quinn's microphone obviously having uh, some technical problems. Uh, he just has such a... His leg is as accurate as Long's arm. Such a comfortable style as he just floats into that ball. Here's that touchdown play. And again, it's Ball's ability to start outside and watch the cut right here. Back inside, yeah. right through the grasp of George Davis, number 37, and on into the end zone. And UCLA opens a 24-10 lead. Here come the DHs as Bray hits it high and spins it down into the end zone. Harmon's going to take it out. Flags are down, and so is young Kevin Harmon at the 17-yard line. Clipping against the Hawkeyes. In other words, just kicked it out on first down. He's not going to do it here, however. From the four-yard line, Harmon, a marked man, and it... Maybe they've been thinking too much football. Long from his end zone. Whoa. Avoiding the safety. Has a man open. Could not hit Robert Smith. 47 seconds left in the half. Uh, Iowa needs a first down, or UCLA's going to get still another chance. Good catch by Harmon, one-handed, and then gets outside and has the first down what an effort scores and highlights of other bowl activities so stay with us long on first down final minute of the half completes to hudson short yardage the timeout was iowa's 20 seconds left down he goes terry toomey A starter himself in the Rose Bowl as a sophomore. The end of the first half. UCLA by two touchdowns. You've got to believe UCLA is ecstatic at that score. And Iowa believes they're beating themselves. And a big halftime of activity. Scores, highlights when we return. <laughs> On the near side. Here come the designated hitters. And the second half underway. To Harmon at the 1, 10, 20, and the 24-yard line. Top five running backs for UCLA are all back next year. Long, down the middle to Happel, and a first down. James Washington needs some scores on the board right now. Here's Ronnie Harmon. Oh, he must have eyes in the back of his helmet. That man chasing him down, he made the right move. Long, second down and five. Barking out an audible. Harmon, stop and go. He's in UCLA territory. And Waller with that protection. First down, Iowa. Long, wide open his flag. The tight end, 30, 20. First down, for the Hawkeyes to score here in this first possession down by two touchdowns at the half. Long to the air. Robert Smith 
using that speed to get to the 10 yard line. They've had it in a month. They've fed it a couple of times and it's green and it's real. Good footing. Harmon has a first down and goal at the three yard line. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Look out. Long. Incomplete to Quinn early. Number one. Early in the ball game. Long on the option. Has a touchdown. Outland's try for point out of Elastic's hole is right down the middle, and now it's a touchdown game. The option play. Long stretching down the sideline, sees an opening inside, and dives back inside. That's Melvin Jackson, number 59, getting the tackle, but not until it's too late. They've either scored it or fumbled it or turned it over. Comes down to Henley, short at the 11. And Henley ducks through to about the 27. Now UCLA with Matt Stevens, the backup quarterback through the latter part of the year for UCLA, to the injured David Norrie. Yeah, they love the uh, farmers there in Iowa. They pay tribute on their helmets, and uh, Southern California is trying to make them feel at home. Stevens on the scramble. Hey, not a bad piece of running. First down at the 41 yard line. They'll recognize those people who are having their own rough times. Stevens, good play action fake, and he's going for a bomb. It's Sherrard. Just inside the 10 yard line. Second and 10 at the Bruin 41. In the third quarter, 11 minutes remaining. UCLA leading Iowa 24 17. And they're leading because of the play of this man, number 21, Eric Ball. Third down, six. Stevens. First down, 83, Willie Anderson. First down at the Hawkeye 40. Reverse to Durrell. And he gets short yardage, out of bounds. It still wears the boots. The tuxedo he wears the boots. Eric Ball driving inside the 35. Asher, his defensive guru, and Donahue has his offensive man. There's the first down throw, Stevens, to number 88, Al Wilson. First down, UCLA, Iowa 24. James Primus. Change of play at the line of scrimmage by Stevens. And then giving to the fullback Greenwood for three. They wanted to hit. Better believe it. Eric Ball. First down, UCLA. That run took Eric Ball over the 100-yard mark for the day. He's got it again for a yard pickup at the 10. Seven minutes remaining, third quarter. Option and Stevens right into the arms of Jeff Drost. The giant tackle. Al Wilson to the right. Sherrard to the left. It's to Sherrard. Is he inbounds? Yes, touchdown. still have not seen a punt in this game with 625 remaining in the third quarter UCLA 31 Iowa 17 31 17 UCLA the kickoff by James Bray Kevin Harmon will not run it up and long to the air that's good added protection oh he's not exactly uh, Immobile himself, and it's Ronnie Harmon down the sidelines and out of bounds. Knows now Chuck Long in the closest ever Heisman balloting. He gives straight ahead to David Hudson, the fullback. Ability, accuracy, a feel for the game. Whoops, not this time, no chance. A seven chance Johnson 
The fifth sack registered by UCLA today. The draw play to Harmon. That's been a big weapon all day, and he drives into UCLA territory to the 49. Won't be enough for a first down. Gifford Irvine is the deep man for UCLA, and the first punt of the day by Gary Costaruga. Well, that's no laughing matter. The knee injury uh, so terribly common in this game, and that has really protected a lot of severe, perhaps a career-ending injury. Stevens looking off the coverage and going to Tennell as tight end. Michigan State scored 31 against Iowa, and UCLA has matched that, the most given up by the Hawkeyes. Stevens on the run as a man. Overshoots him on the far sideline. Last year, that was his claim to fame. End over end. Fair catch. Bill Happel. Iowa has it at the 38-yard line. Two touchdowns behind UCLA. 31-17. The Hawkeyes from their 38. Long. Going long. And intercepted, Dennis Price. So UCLA on Price's intercept starts at its 21. Stevens to throw. Ooh, dangerously close to going all the way. First down, ball. Look at the moves by this youngster. 50. Out of bounds at the 44. Make him look pretty darn good. First down, ball again. Up the backs of his uh, blockers. Second down and eight. Stevens. Looked like his arm was hit, and he one hop the throw to Mike Sherrard. 31-17, late in the third quarter. UCLA leading Iowa. Stevens, as he was hit, short hops that one incomplete. Uh, fine for uh, being out late. He was on the premises of the hotel. <laughs> and he kicks it into the end zone. Touchback. Oh, that's right. Do we have time? David Hudson plowing for six or seven. Doing some serious thinking about what they're going to remember about their football experience. And Chuck Long and company hoping to do something about it. But Ronnie Harmon, another senior, has to eat it. The score after three. 31-17 We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Now they're trying to win five in a row. Big Ten dominating early, and the Big Ten can't seem to buy a win here of late. Long looking for the big play. He's got it to Happel at the 49-44 yard line. And a first down from Kenny Flame, a great Hawkeye quarterback. That's loss, a down penalty. To put themselves back into a tie, or even with a two-point conversion, to go ahead. Second and long, the fake draw, which they've used so often. Then down the middle, almost intercepted by Steve Jarecki. It's outside San Francisco, where Californians are so proud of their, proud of their wine. 79 was up. Ball snap on the snapper, ball snap. A couple of those little shovel passes, of course, figuring in. That's Harmon in motion. They throw to him. Double pass. No one downfield except a couple of UCLA players. Costa Bala, I'll get it, Dick. Only 10 yards back. He kicks it from a short position, and they bring everybody in tight. Ooh. But a short punt, uh, about 38 yards, so UCLA takes over at its 46. And Eric Ball, what a day for this freshman, all the way to the 40-yard line. He is over 140 yards rushing today. Just the, the dominant running back by far on the field. He's averaged over 10 yards a carry. Stevens a fake and then a roll. Throws to Durrell coming back, and he pays for it. Before they give him a chance to play. Second down, and a couple. Ball on his way to tie the Rose Bowl record. Four touchdowns for Eric Ball. John Lee, a 
another point on his Rose Bowl record, kicking in his third Rose Bowl for UCLA. Timeout 13-25 remaining. McLaughlin and the Hawkeyes to rally. But there is time, 13-25 left. Flag down, it appeared UCLA was offside. One of those designated hitters really got a running start. Officially now, 173 yards for Ball, who that graphic jumped in there saying <laughs> Rose Bowl MVP, but who are you going to uh, pick if it's not Eric Ball? Mike Flag, the tight end, then it kind of evened up, and now it's been all West Coast the last uh, two decades. Hudson to the 33-yard line. It's an advantage for UCLA to be here in this stadium. I want you to clarify that point. It's uh, more than just the obvious as long hits Happel and Bill Happel struggling forward to the 48-yard line and a penalty is going to be called. Christics. Personal defense. First down. But it's the staying in the hotel, the disorientation of a new practice facility and so forth. Long stepping forward just did elude a sack by Jarecki. Ronnie Harmon. And uh, believe me, started to set a standard and gaining a kind of attention and the knowledge that has allowed him to be such a successful coach. Long to Harmon. Ah! Oh, what a painfully long afternoon. You don't sleep. Well. This would be a 51-yard field goal if Houtland connects. Oh, look at the length on that one. Is it good? It hits the crossbar and bounces through. Houtland, 51 yards. That's only one yard shy of the Rose Bowl record. Rich Spangler, 51-52. Timeout, it's 38-20 UCLA. Fry is saying, we finally got something. And there's the onside kick. And UCLA recovering easily. What does he tell them now? They, they they've concentrated, they did their work. They still have lost the football game. Meanwhile, Stevens to his tight end, Tunnell. Inside the 35 to the 30 goes Tunnell. UCLA on the march again with 10 minutes and 20 seconds left. That's Mel Farr. We'll try to get into the flow of this game. Eric Ball is in the tail of that eye. He's off the blocks in a hurry and he's so strong. I have never torn a muscle or strained a muscle. He has got to be heartbroken. Here comes Ball. He's already tied a record for touchdowns with four. That'll be good enough for a first down. Harry Ball again into a crowd, out of the crowd. Boy, that has separated him all afternoon. That's the most yards rushing. We talked about that earlier. Charles White, our first game, Erlin and I was playing. I'll tell you that. Wilson in motion, first down UCLA at the Iowa 11. And this is far to the four. First and goal from the four. Will Ball set a record? Here's his chance. And Iowa Ooh. denies at the two. At this moment, Eric Ball with 190 yards. And Eric Ball looking for a tying touchdown. I mean, he has already has four touchdowns, looking for five. A Rose Bowl record. It appears UCLA wants him to get it. And there is Rose Bowl history or not. No, at the half-yard line. A foot away. Watch 21 ball. Oops, Stevens takes the sneak, and he doesn't get in. By sure himself. Let's see to whom he goes. Let's follow Stevens. It's a nice story. David Clinton holding, and UCLA with its highest point total of the year. Iowa giving up more points than it allowed by 10 all season long for this game today. Gray, a busy man, will kick off again. Harmon out to the 15. And twist down at the 18-yard line. All right, Don Cricky, Bob Trumpy will look forward to your call. Chuck Long underneath the Harmon to the 19-yard line. They were kind of sneaking up here in this ball game today. Long down the middle. And that is the first catch of the day for Scott Helverson. He's got a long ways to go. 
Long, good fake, throws to the tight end flag, and a first down at the UCLA 46. Bring to this game, and indeed they did. But it's been a sad day for them, nevertheless. Harmon, and he's in the grasp of Ken Norton, Jr. And now they've gone back full circle to the protection of those good old high tops. I love it. You still wear them with your tuxedo. <laughs> Boy, and I've talked left. Long would like to at least get some window dressing. That's Robert Smith. Inbounds. Time Iowa receiver Kevin Harmon is in now, number 28. Smith again. It's, you know, looking over at UCLA, they're just waiting to explode, too. Long underneath. And James Washington following his action that he overcomes that stride. That's Kevin Harmon. They have not been able to get that ball into the end zone. Not all his fault, though. No. Yet. Here's a chance, and Bill Happel, touchdown. Yeah. There it is. So father and son can share the same Rose Bowl memory, both with a touchdown. Bill Sr. in a victory here in 1957. They're going to go for a two-point play. The Helverson incomplete. Chucky Miller on the coverage, and a flag is down. UCLA penalized half the distance to the goal. It's Iowa with a second chance at a two-point play. To play for him, East-West Shrine game Scott Helverson will play there. And it's Kevin Harmon, younger brother of Ronnie, who picks up two in the Rose Bowl. That brings the score to 45-28. He did get his touchdown, although an apparent defeat. Here's the onside kick, and again, well covered by UCLA. Eric Ball. The kid isn't through yet, apparently. Recorded by a freshman. There's Ball at 219, they say now. 247 the record by Charles White. Ball with four touchdowns tying Sam Cunningham's modern day record. Let's give it to someone else, says quarterback Matt Stevens. It went to Jesuit High School. Battled for four years on the bench and earned the starting role as a fifth-year senior. Only to miss the start in the Rose Bowl. He gives to the right man. He's been watching. Eric Ball again. He's at the six-yard line. Greg Prince or is that James Primus? Norrie trying to get the Bruins into the 50s. With just 17 seconds left, and apparently that will be it. They'll let the final seconds tick away. Another disappointing afternoon for the Big Ten and for the Iowa Hawkeyes and the West Coast Pacific Ten UCLA celebrate a very impressive win, 45-28. An outstanding performance by the Bruins who really came out of that underdog position to hand Hayden Fry and his favorite Hawkeyes a black eye. So the 70s belong to the Pacific 10 and so it remains in the 1980s. UCLA 45, Iowa 28.